Hi, I'm glad you could join me today. If you have followed this blog for any length of time, you may have noticed that one of the concerns that I have as a believer in Christ and as one called to, uh, to, to preach is that there is a lot of untruth that's being propagated in the church today. It's not just being propagated because people don't really believe the word. It's also being propagated because people believe false doctrines. Now, this is, this is the problem throughout the history of mankind. From the Garden of Eden to the present day, the enemy of our soul's singular question is, Has God really said... Did he really tell you to do this, that, or the other thing? Has he really said that you need to, and you fill in the blank? And that was the problem in the Garden of Eden that led to uh, Adam and Eve being kicked out of the garden, uh, sinning and being kicked out. That was the problem in, uh, in the antediluvian period when Noah was preaching and people didn't believe him then. That was the problem down through the history of Israel. And time after time after time after time, the, the prophets of ancient Israel and Judah were called upon to speak the truth, to listen to the word of God. Now, Malachi is the last of those prophets. But what we need to see is that very consistently, God is uh, calling upon the leaders of the religious community, whether it's called the church, whether it's called Israel, whether it's called the priesthood, whatever it may be called, he is asking those people that are his spokesmen to make sure that they speak the truth. Because if they don't, they cause God's people to stumble. Listen to how he says that to Malachi. And he's speaking to the priests here when he says, But you have turned aside from the way. You have caused many to stumble by your instruction. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Now, we found that to be true in, um, in the book of Jeremiah. You can read about it in Jeremiah 23. You found that also in Ezekiel chapter 13. And there are countless other places in the scripture where the people who are called upon to be God's spokesmen are, uh, fail to do that, and they cause the people to turn away. Isaiah, later on in the, cha in the 60th chapter of Isaiah, says that truth has stumbled in the streets. Excuse me, that may be 59, chapter 59. But, um, but later on, the Apostle Paul uh, tells Timothy in the very last instructions of his, uh, of his life to Timothy, he says, preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season, and reprove and rebuke and exhort with great diligence, for the time is going to come when they'll not endure sound doctrine. And so the idea here in Malachi, the idea in all of those ancient prophets, is that as spokesmen for God, we need to be consistent with what he has said, and if we're not, we will be held accountable. That's the theme. You find it again and again and again and again. And some people take these blogs and they, they think that it's just saying the same thing over and over again. Well, it is. Because the reality is that this has been the enemy's strategy down through history. He has caused us to question whether we really know the mind of Christ, whether God's revelation can be trusted. And the people in Malachi's day, they failed to communicate that. And as a result, 
the people stumbled in the way. And in a larger sense, as I said earlier at the end of Isaiah, the truth has stumbled in the world at large because we don't really believe this book anymore. I want us to remember that the Lord is going to call us to account. The Lord longs for his people to hear his voice. And we hear his voice uh, primarily. We hear his voice with authority through the scripture. And those who preach the scripture can do so with certainty and with authority if they're consistent with it. And when they fail to be consistent, then they need to back away. And then they need to make sure that they're understanding God's laws so that the people around them, the people who hear them, don't stumble as they did in Malachi's day. Father, I ask you to give to all of us who are in ministry, all of us who preach, all of us who teach a Sunday school class or lead a Bible study or even just witness to a friend. Grant to us the grace to understand clearly what you're saying and communicate that to those around us so that no one around us will stumble. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day.